Marty. Sometimes artists can uplift us, can inspire us, and that's what James Recca does. He has great work like this and also a 60-foot mural at the Hastings University building right here in San Francisco. We'll talk about it. We'll come back with James Recca. Thank you, Janu. Look at this, everybody. There it is, right here in San Francisco, Hastings, where my sister became a lawyer. That is the wonderful work. That mural is the beautiful 60-foot peace sign given to us by the artist James Recca. And it is colorful. It's unusual. It, uh, I think, represents San Francisco very well. And I'm so glad to have you here, James. How hard was that to do, that 60-foot mural? Oh, look, I most probably made it look quite easy but I've been doing this for the last 10 years and uh yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's still a challenge. Like it's quite a physical task painting something as tall as 60 feet. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm quite happy I actually got through that, and um, yeah, I'm happy with the end result. What inspired the design? Oh, look, I you know I'm I'm lucky enough to travel the world to paint uh, large scale walls, and I I try and paint something that is site specific or literally uh, something that I can take from the the city or the surroundings, and I chose something to do something as simple as, uh, as a peace sign to, to link in with uh, this city's uh, interesting history. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Plus the colors are a bit psychedelic. Yeah, yeah, correct. I definitely wanted to, to give that sort of uh, psychedelic hippie sort of vibe right. and uh, I think uh, I pulled it off pretty well. Yes, and at the same time it's, it beautifies the area. Definitely. Uh, I've, I've had so much uh, great feedback and, and a great response that people just love the color and the, the, the vibrant shapes and uh, I guess I guess the, what, what the actual piece means as well, they connected with it. Yeah, and all those kids trying to be lawyers, you know, I yeah. bet it's, it's, it's a bit of an uplift. Yeah, exactly. I guess yeah. it's pretty funny painting a peace sign on the side of a law university, but um, it does connect quite well. What uh, medium do you use for I that? I use mainly spray paint. Uh, mm -hmm. I, you know, I classify myself as a street artist, and that is um, my tool of trade. Uh, it covers a lot of space in a short amount of time, mm -hmm. uh, and you can do a lot of interesting effects. Mm -hmm. Uh, it takes a lot of time to develop that skill and uh, I guess I pride myself on the fact that uh, I can use that medium quite well. Yeah, you're Australian but you live in Berlin and when Correct. I was in Berlin last I saw a lot of street art. Yeah, yeah. That's it's like uh, the capital of it. It's, uh, it's amazing there, like yeah. the amounts, it's just condensed, it's vibrant, there's so much uh, life and energy in that city and on the walls and just walking down the street every day I, mm. I get inspired from what I see and uh, I, it translates across into my work. And then you do, uh, speaking of your work, you do a lot of other things aside from murals. I showed one of your pieces that was uh, um, reconstituted cans, I guess you'd say. Yep. Uh, really beautiful. Here's some more. Explain this. Who is that? Uh, well, these these pieces <laughs> yeah. I, I find in uh, abandoned factories, and like mm -hmm. they are what I call found objects. So uh, these pieces speak uh, more to me than, say, painting on traditional mediums like uh, canvas mm -hmm. or board. My approach to these uh, pieces, I, I literally read what the the piece has to offer, whether it's texture or, or color or a pattern, and I, mm -hmm. I, it literally gives me direction. So, so the what piece I, itself gives you the direction. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's what Michelangelo always said about stone, right? That's the yeah. rocks. They you, you just cut away what was uh, not supposed to be there. Yeah, you, you have to read the piece, and that's mm -hmm. what's so nice about using uh, these things that I find when mm -hmm. I'm actually out painting. Uh, now yeah. I see why people said Picasso. You were saying once in a while people will say it reminds them of a Picasso. Yeah, just I guess my work is quite abstract. Everyone's got their own opinion, sure. and that's what's so interesting about the, uh, the scene that I'm in. Now, Monet or Salvador Dali, uh, those were two uh, inspirations to me growing up and loving art what did you uh, what did you find oh look I, I I'm definitely influenced by the impressionists it's funny like uh, people ask me this all the time and they expect me to, to uh, say some uh, living artists and, mm -hmm. and still for me like even uh, like Warhol and Basquiat and, Basquiat, and uh, yeah. even Picasso as well mm -hmm. I, I can't deny the fact that uh, he's definitely been an influence of mine there have been wonderful movies made about Picasso as well as Basquiat was a great film was there a movie like I 
I think of Lust for Life about Van Gogh with, with Kirk Douglas. Brilliant film yeah. about art. Um, how about you? You know what? I really liked the Jackson Pollock movie. Oh, that yes, Ed, Ed, Ed Harris. Harris. Yes. Yeah, that was, uh, I thought he did a very good job of that. And also you, you mentioned uh, Basquiat. That mm -hmm. was uh, definitely a favorite movie of mine. Right. We don't want you to end up like Jackson Pollock, though. That was a very sad story because that's the dark side of genius as well. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Uh, fingers crossed it doesn't go that way. <laughs> it won't, honey. And I am so excited for you. You are doing amazing work. Here's where you can see some of it. Uh, by James Recca at the White Walls Gallery, where they have such exciting things going on. 886 Geary in San Francisco. This particular display opens tonight uh, from 7 to 11. But And you can meet James Recca. But don't forget, get to the Hastings Building. It just opened Thursday. And see that 60-foot peace sign that James has given us. It's absolutely wonderful. Coming up, I'll be reviewing the new Tom Hanks movie, uh, Captain Phillips. But we thank James for being here, and thanks for beautifying our city. You're wow. Welcome, Very hip. We'll be back.